हेलो गाइज आई एम डॉक्टर रविंद्र सावरकर एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू मेड स्कूल आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन चेस्ट एक्सरेज एंड दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ द सेम फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ टेक्निक ऑफ एक्सरे एक्सरे कंसोल हैज मेनी पार्ट्स बट फॉर टाइम बींग वी शुड नो दैट देर इज एन एक्सरे ट्यूब विच इमिट एक्सरेज एंड एक्सरे कैसेट विच हैज एक्सरे फिल्म इन साइड If an object is put between X-ray tube and X-ray film, it will cast an image on X-ray film. The density of the object determines the property of image on X-ray film. If the object is denser, like solids and liquids, the image on X-ray will be white. While if the object is less dense, like air, image on X-ray film will be darker. The size of image compared to its actual size depends on distance of X-ray tube from the object and distance of object from X-ray film. If the tube is moved closer to the object, image will become larger. However, borders of the image will not be sharp. As the object moves closer to the film, image size goes on decreasing. When an object is very close to the film, the size of image is approximately the same size and the borders of the image will be sharp before interpreting any chest x-ray one should first confirm that x-ray is done properly interpreting an improperly done x-ray can lead to diagnostic mistakes that's why in this video we will be discussing about the technical aspect of x-ray these aspects are name of the patient on x-ray labeling of site that is right or left on x-ray then what projection is used if there is any rotation seen on x-ray is exposure is adequate or not and lastly whether x-ray is taken in inspiratory or expiratory phase just like any investigation x-ray should be interpreted with clinical settings For that we should first be sure that x-ray of the same patient is being interpreted. Nowadays patient's details are always mentioned on x-ray. However, site may vary. Sometime it can be on lower strip or in the corners. Site on x-ray is usually denoted by letter R for right side and L for left side. On this x-ray this capital R denotes that this is right side of the patient chest x-ray are always done in pa view unless patient is not able to stand like in this x-ray film projection is indicated on most of the films projection of x-ray depends on direction of x-ray passing through the body when x-ray passes from posterior surface to the anterior surface it is called as pa view When x-ray passes from anterior surface to the posterior surface it is called as AP view and obviously when x-ray passes through lateral surface it is called as lateral view As I already said projection is mentioned on x-ray most of the times but if it is not mentioned or there is a chance of wrong labeling of projection in such case how to differentiate PA view and AP view Firstly we should understand the difference in technique of PA view and AP view In PA view posture of patient is standing while in AP view posture of patient is supine In PA view hands rest on hip taking scapula to lateral surface of rib cage while in AP view hand rest on side of the body so scapula lies along posterior surface of rib cage X-ray tube is 6 feet away from X-ray film in PA view while in AP view X-ray tube is 4 feet away from film In PA view heart is closer to the film while in AP view vertebra are closer to the film Due to standing posture in PA view diaphragm is pulled down due to gravitational force of abdominal content Because of this position of rib and dome of diaphragm are affected In PA view anterior ends of rib are lower than posterior end so that ribs are tilted while in AP view ribs are more or less horizontal likewise 
dome of diaphragm is lower than fifth intercostal space in PA view, as in this X-ray, while dome of diaphragm is usually above fifth intercostal space in AP view. In standing posture, gas in stomach collects below fundus. Hence, fundic gas is visible on PA view, while it may be absent on AP view. In PA view, heart is closer to film and tube is 6 feet away. Hence, cardiac seal out is approximately of similar size of heart and borders are sharp. In AP view, heart is not closer to film and tube is only 4 feet away. Hence, there is apparent cardiomegaly with blur borders. In PA view, vertebra are not closer to film. Hence, only upper four thoracic vertebra are clearly visible. While in AP view, vertebra are closer to film. Hence, all vertebra are clearly visible. In PA view, lungs get larger space as dome of diaphragm is lower. Hence, air bronchogram is not dense. While in AP view, as lungs get lesser space, bronchi are also crowdly placed. Hence, air bronchogram is dense. In PA view, scapula lies along lateral surface of ribcage. Hence, scapula does not encroach lung fields. While in AP view, scapula lies along posterior surface of ribcage. Hence, they encroach the lung fields. Rotation of X-ray can be judged from position of spinous process with respect to medial border of clavicles. If spinous process are equidistant from medial border of clavicle as in this X-ray, then there is no rotation. If spinous processes are deviated from midline, then it indicates rotation as in this X-ray. Rotation can bring false changes as trachea appear to be shifted to opposite side. Hilum on the same side becomes prominent. Dome of diaphragm on the same side appears to be elevated. And lung field on the opposite side appears hyperlucent. Exposure of X-ray can deviate to either side. X-ray can be overexposed or underexposed. In overexposure, vertebra, clavicle and cardiac seal out becomes more prominent and more than 4 vertebra in PA view X-ray becomes visible. In underexposure, ribs and lungs becomes more prominent and less than upper 4 vertebra in PA view X-ray are visible. I want you to remember that brighter looking X-rays are in fact underexposed. Chest X-rays should ideally be done in full inspiration. But sometimes chest X-rays can be taken inadvertently in expiration. This can also produce false changes, like in this X-ray. Despite being PA view, there are elevated dome of diaphragms, apparent cardiomegaly, and widening of mediastinum. Chest X-ray lateral views are done occasionally to evaluate retrocardiac and mediastinal pathologies. I hope you have understood the technical aspect of chest X-rays and you will be able to spot the technical abnormality in this X-ray. Please write your opinion in comment section. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you have any query or suggestion, please write it down in comment section. If you like my work, please like this video and share it with your friends. To get notified about next video upload, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Till next video, take care and keep learning.